Hey guys, Drudder here. It is May the 3rd, 2011. This video is obviously being taken outside from my backyard. Looking up at the overcast sky here in Vancouver. And that got me thinking of overcast uh, silver market conditions, if you know what I'm saying. Um, we celebrate when it goes up, so we ought to take our licks when it goes down. And uh, it's down. On the well, have a look at the one-year chart. Um, I'll link one below if you don't have one. Um, you can see that uh, this does not break the bull trend uh, whatsoever, and of course the fundamentals haven't changed. We don't. There's no denying that. But um, you can see that this is an 18% pullback from the top, which was almost just under 50 bucks, right? Um, Fifty dollars to forty-one is eighteen percent, which is a normal pullback in markets, um, and it can go down. You know, it could go down even to twenty-five percent pullback, so down into the thirties for sure. Um, that's the kind of thing that happens when you have unlimited amounts of paper silver being traded on a fraudulently uh, regulated market. Um, <laughs> there's just no denying. Um, you know, silver does go down. And that's, you know, it can happen. And it, and it has happened, and it is, looks like it's continuing to happen. So, um, The physical market, however, the phys physical market for real metal is very tight. I was out at the stores today here in Vancouver, and uh, there's just no silver to be had. No maples, um, limited amounts of uh, junk silver, some, you know, odd odds and ends, rounds, and... and little art bars and things like that, high premium uh, special edition holograph coins. That's really all you can find. Um, I don't know if people are holding out right now with their uh, sales. They don't want to sell at these lower prices or if if there just isn't any around, I don't know. Uh, I'm getting the feeling that there just isn't any around, which has been the case for quite some time, but we'll see. Maybe these pullbacks will cause some people to get scared out and dump their their physical metal onto the market, and then uh, then there'll be some more to pick up. Sounds like there's a game going on down the hill there. Anyway, um, this might be a time to consider switching uh, to, or from, I guess, gold, to take advantage of the volatility in these price swings. The gold to silver ratio is going nuts. Now, gold definitely hasn't lost as much as silver, so that's something to take into consideration. You might, you might just think about that at this point. Um, I'm looking for a big paper pullback is what I'm looking for. You know, it, it has been big, but I'm looking for it to come down into the into the high 30s. Now, I, that's not what I have um, said I thought would happen. I'm just saying that's, you know, now that we are here at this point at 41, I'm looking for, I'm looking for high 30s because, um, you know, a corresponding large metal purchase at those prices at the same time, um, you know, that's where true metal bugs are going to shine here. Um, you know, this is where we make our big moves, basically, is when um, the paper price has an unexpected technical technical analysis induced or just uh, you know manipulation induced pullback. Um, and yeah, um, if we can find metal, then that's the time when we scoop up. Yeah, I'm a I'm a, you know, I'm a perma physical silver bull, um, but I'm a perma paper silver bear, I think it will go to zero. I don't think there's a future in unlimited, fraudulently traded um, silver stocks. <laughs> no long-term future for that. Um, I think that'll eventually go to nothing. And physical metal will never go to nothing. You know, the, the paper silver price is being hammered down by somebody. You know, don't mention any names, but they uh, have a lot of shorts to cover, and they're still hanging on to a lot of shorts in this market that is going you know, to the moon in the medium to long term. And this may be a good good time for them to cover those shorts. Um, you know, if they're not if they don't have a hand in actually bringing the price down to that point. When it got to fifty dollars, a lot of people said there's going to be some kind of a, a dip here, um, and I think you know that was fairly clear to most people. And it did happen, but I think that there's also been some manipulation, just some well-timed um, large paper moves that have caused some uh, 
some huge, huge candles on those charts. Uh, red candles. But, um, we are getting closer to the day when the limited physical market is going to take over for the unlimited and easily manipulated paper silver Ponzi scheme when it comes to setting the price for this precious metal. And just on cue, looks like the sun's back. Hope you're having a good night. And I'll talk to you soon.